So I was supposed to be off today, y'all. Crew didn't show up, so now I'm working. First stop, well, second stop after Home Depot is McDonald's. Vince wants breakfast. There's Vince. Uh, no. <laughs> <laughs> Roll we're making something to eat. Yeah, we are. Good job, baby. What are we making? We're making great grandma her ham bone soup. Yeah, the ham bone soup. It's one of our favorite holiday recipes. But right now, me and Cece about to whip it up, huh? Yeah, about to whip it up. About to whip it up. All right, you ready to get me my ingredients out of the refrigerator? Yeah. All right, Cece's on ingredient duty. No, no, we gonna put the carrots in this thing. No. Why? We're gonna put it in our cool pot that we got from, from Amon and Papa. Oh, I see. I <laughs> Y'all, Stacey is so crazy. This little girl is so smart. She amazes me every day. Mind you, her and her brother like to play dress up. He puts like these little cute dresses on her and stuff that we've bought but never actually used. And so right now, this rainbow princess dress that she has on. Can we be on the plate? Yeah, we can put some on the plate. Okay. Okay. This little rainbow princess dress she has on. Her brother dresses her up and stuff, and then she's like, I wanna wear that dress that Sai shows. So that's how come Cece has on a rainbow tutu dress right now. I'm gonna get that. Will you get me an onion? Yes. Oh, that's a red onion. Will you get me the white onion that's right there? What? See, it's kinda, it's kinda yellow. Oh. Do you see it? Right there? Right there. You want this? Yep. That's an onion. All right, now, now will you get me the bag of carrots? Yep. It's kind of heavy. Yeah, kind of heavy. Oh, got it. Good job. Okay, will you get me the celery? Thank you. What now? Will you have me the garlic? Perfect. All right, well that's the start for our base. Last thing, our ham bone. Ham bone. Yay. Now. All right, y'all got our little ham bone popping. Yep, and we need some more ingredients too. We do, but you know what? We have our base, so we don't need any more ingredients right this second. Then I've got my beans, my cans of beans. You can also use real beans, but just know it's gonna take significantly longer. And I got my free range chicken broth. I got two cans of Great Northern, a Canelli and a butter. However, some people just use all Great Northerns. Some people just use Canelli's. You're free to use whatever you want as far as your beans go. You can even do like that 15 bean blend. We have our ham bone. I make sure that I always leave enough meat on the bone so that when I make this soup, it has some good chunks of ham in it. Also, you wanna trim off any fat. This one don't really have a whole lot of fat, so I'm gonna leave what's on here. So I'm gonna boil this for probably an hour, an hour and a half. You making hammus? <laughs> you making ham bone soup? Yep, ham bone soup. Do you want to shake some salt in that water? Yep, I okay. do. Okay, give it some good shakes. This is when you can finally put a lot. Good shakes. Don't drop my salt shake up in there, girl. Good shakes. Shake, shake, shake. Shake, shake, shake. Okay, that's it. Okay, that's probably probably a little bit more. And then what's next? Okay, give it a little stir. It's not time to taste it yet, girl. <laughs> I got about a quarter of an onion and three cloves of garlic. Go ahead and drop them in. And keep in mind, these are gonna get fished out. We just making our broth right. The thing about when I hire a crew and they don't show up is that it's my motherfucking fault. So then I gotta get out here and work. And we up here on, by the Capitol and these hills ain't no joke, like for real. I can't even nail the nails because we're sliding down the hill. You know what? I'm a problem solver. That's that's my job is to solve problems. So meanwhile, baby's at home. My two queens are cooking for me and Sai. Right now, Sai's cleaning up. I've had to tell him like 500 times to stay on task. His task is to pick up all the big rocks out of the DG that's on the ground. But you know, that's my baby boy. So he do what he can, you know? And we trying to dodge the city because they sweating us. So I'm gonna let y'all go. Y'all go check out my queens, see what they making for us. And I'm gonna tap in with y'all when this shit is done. This is what Cece doing right now. She's mixing all of her little stuff look, with all of my real stuff. <laughs> That's called a ladle. A ladle 
scoop. You got a ladle scoop? Yes, I can. That, we've been boiling for about 20 minutes now. We're gonna go ahead and add just a few sprigs of thyme. I got three big carrots, three stalks of celery, and one whole small onion. I'm gonna heat some butter up in this pan and saute my veggies. So usually I be making my ham bone soup in the crock pot, and I did that for years really. And then one time at grandma's house, I wanted to use the leftover ham bone, and so I was able to spend some time with her and watch her. Mind you, this ain't like her exact recipe. I didn't get a chance to write it down. Kind of remembering what I'm remembering and then adding some of the stuff that I would add for myself. Grandma taught me how to make it and then I'm using what I can remember, doing what I do on the rest, you know. <laughs> this is a long way of doing it, but it just tastes different. Last time I made it last year, I used the crock pot and it turned out really good, super flavorful and stuff like that. But there's just something about when you cook a soup on the stove, it takes a lot of nurturing, a lot of love and a lot of time. You gotta watch it and make sure the water doesn't boil out and you gotta you know salt it and taste it and it takes love right <laughs> and I don't care what nobody says you can taste love in food when you're making these holiday recipes and stuff like that throw a little love in it give it a little time you doubt doubt I'm gonna tell y'all a bunch of shit that you probably can care less about but we gotta fix the seam on the other side so we're gonna be here tonight so I'm gonna go get some gas and some food and you know Try to not be a laborer anymore. I finished one side though. All right, so I'm gonna transfer the stuff from this pot to this pot just cause it's it's quite a bit deeper and it's gonna allow me to add all of my vegetables and my beans. And it's not like super, super important what kind of pot that you use as long as you use like a good pot that has enough depth to it. But the thing that I like about my cast iron pot is the way that it heats, it seems like it cuts some time off of my soup because it stays so hot for so long. We're gonna let that melt all to down together and then we're gonna throw some seasoning on it. I added some salt, some pepper, some onion powder, and some garlic powder and really let it all cook down like this. You can see where this is really like cooked down. The ham has gotten really tender. Let's go ahead and throw the broth over there. We're gonna add two cups of chicken stock and then two cups of water. I got all of my ham off the bone, got rid of any fat that was on there, and then let's go ahead and add it to our soup. The beans is in there. We're gonna throw a couple bay leaves up in there and we're gonna let it simmer for like another 30 minutes on pretty low. I forgot to show y'all my bread that I love to use when I make soup. It's just this Pillsbury French bread. You pop it on here, seam side down, make sure you oil your cookie sheet and then you cut some slashes in it. Mm, I'm ready for this. This is what we out here doing, y'all. Got Sai out here with the crew. Oh, this is what my boy's doing. Yeah, we out here in the dark. Can't see nothing. But this gonna be lit. When it's done, let me take these lights off. This is what he been doing the whole time. 